Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how you can solve three biggest issues of PayPal. The first one is PayPal holding money. Second is PayPal chargeback and the third one is PayPal dispute. If you are running a Shopify store, then you will be using PayPal account because PayPal is the international payment gateway. And these three issues are most common to many people. I received a lot of questions related to these three topics and I also found that on different question answer forums, People are asking the questions like PayPal is holding their money. They are waiting from last 84 days but still their payment is holding back. They have the problem with PayPal dispute. Customers are claiming their refund and they have created the dispute and finally customers are winning their case and you are losing the money actually. And we have also the problem of chargeback and finally we have the problem of tracking info to PayPal because you need something which just automate your tracking number to PayPal because in that way PayPal will no more hold your money back. I researched a lot and finally I found the perfect solution for all these problems. Here on Google you need to search Shopify apps and once you are searching it then you need to click on Shopify app store link and this is the dashboard of Shopify app store here you need to search PayPal tracking then press enter key. Here we have the list of apps but the Sing Track app has more number of reviews as compared to other apps and the important thing is that if you are new on the Shopify store then this will work for you because this has free plans which you will not able to find in other apps because for example this has free trial but this has three days free trial and but sync track provides you free plans in that way you can actually do the analysis and uh, try to figure out that uh, this will help you out or not so let me click over it and let's go to its dashboard here you can see that if you will scroll it down and here we have certain features of this app which are like we can add tracking information we can actually manage dispute and we have other things like PayPal seller protection, faster funds release, fewer chargeback and pass PayPal disputes. And other than that, we have uh, we have the important feature which is multi-store. So you can connect multiple stores using this app. You can also connect with Stripe. And we have a Shopify order notes. And here down below, you have multi-stores connection and synchronized shipments at 1000 tracking per minute connect with you can also connect with stripe and paypal as well so this has free plan and you you can see that pricing plan here we have free plan if you are new in the shopify store then of course uh, 330 trackings are enough for you later on if you want you can actually uh, purchase its basic plan or maybe move ahead with the pro plan or maybe unlimited talking about its reviews you can see that 4.9 uh, is the rating if you will click on these reviews you can find out that this app has more satisfied customers this app is efficient and easy to use I rely like the price to the customer service is great five star so you can see that imagine that these customers are really happy amazing highly recommended so if you will read all these reviews you will really analyze that this app is contributing to a large number of community who are facing the problem with the PayPal I have already installed this app in my store so let me show you how it works here you should go to the Shopify dashboard then you should click on apps and here I have installed that app just click on it and here you will be getting all the data related to this app so first example I am clicking on orders so here you can see that we have list of orders which have which already have been completed and you can see the status this is completed and I we can actually uh, integrate it with the with multiple stores so here if you are clicking over it then you can see that we have two stores here right now sync status we have uh, we can actually filter it out using complete pending over quota and currently I have selected all then we have payment methods you can see that PayPal and Stripe if uh, individually you wanted to uh, see that what about the PayPal you can also filter it out maybe PayPal and Stripe actually this app is working for both Stripe and PayPal for now so 
uh, for example you are clicking on settings here you have the option to uh, link your PayPal account actually so you should click on add PayPal account and then your account would be linked by just uh, logging into your PayPal account and uh, that's it if you want you can also connect stripe setting click on stripe setting and here you need to add the stripe token and then stripe account would be linked with this uh, app then we have multi-store integration which I already discussed with you here we have connected uh, two stores you can add multiple stores I mean unlimited stores here we have Shopify order notes manage plans here we have different plans so these are all all the things which are related to uh, sync track app here we have dispute management dashboard and you can see the list of all the transactions and the important thing is the reason of uh, the dispute then we have the status of test dispute we have different times amount and transaction ID so here we actually get to know about the status that uh, what's going on with our transaction because someone has created the dispute so in that way we mostly uh, send the email to our PayPal support team or maybe try to chat with them but immediately we don't know what happened to uh, that dispute so here you can see all the status for example resolved waiting for buyer response waiting for seller response here we have uh, under review so all these status are just giving us the uh, signal that uh, how, how much processing has been done uh, towards your dispute one more thing is that you have the option to manually upload the order detail uh, using this uh, actually you need to download the template for example I am downloading it then you need to click over it and here you can see that we have PayPal account we have tracking ID we have tracking number and tracking carrier and then then tracking URL here you need to fill and then finally you need to upload it by selecting this choose file if you have already installed this app then you have no need to do anything manual because automatically this sync track app will be fetching the data and automatically uh, adding the tracking number tracking ID and everything this actually helps merchants to save operation cost save time if sync track app doesn't exist then you can imagine that it takes days to add tracking number manually but right now it will be done automatically this app is already supporting PayPal stripe accounts on all sync track plans so actually if you will click on integrations you can see that it is already supporting third parties here you can scroll it down we have sale funnel we have full fulfillments like uberlo aliexpress then we have end checkouts and then we have gateways like Moli and all one of the important thing is dispute management in dispute management sync track helps you reduce chargebacks disputes and other costs regardless of payment gateway or third party you use or whether you are a paid user or utilizing the free version of the app. SyncTrack is in charge of collecting transaction IDs for orders from parties other than Shopify that Shopify doesn't directly provide. After that, SyncTrack uses the transaction ID to finish the order information synchronization with PayPal and Stripe. To install this app, I have already added the link below in the description. Just click on that and then you will be redirected to Shopify App Store. And from there, you can actually install this app into your Shopify store and you can solve all the issues which we discussed before. Why? Because you can imagine that if you are manually adding the tracking information, then it will take a lot of time but this app is optimizing our work because once you are installing this app then this is actually optimizing all the things why because in that way it is all about automation you have no need to do anything this is doing for you i hope that this video was useful for you if you are thinking this video was useful then please subscribe this channel also like this video thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video